Martyrs Free Church in Edinburgh, part of the history of Christianity in Scotland. Today it's Frankenstein, which describes itself as both a family-friendly venue and a place for stag parties and bar top dancers. This is St. Paul's Church in Bristol, England. It's now a school for circus performers. And in Linera, Spain, the Church of Santa Barbara is now Chaos Temple, a skateboard park. But before you get angry with the owners of Frankenstein, understand that Europe today has more empty church buildings than it knows what to do with. Because Europe is, by and large, no longer Christian. These are the remnants of a lost civilization, Christian civilization. It was once at the very heart of European life and culture. Those days are long gone. Among the British, belief in the Christian God has plummeted. The, the trajectory is very clear. It's something like 70, 75% of British under 30s say they have no religion. Theologian Stephen Bullivant, author of Mass Exodus, says Europe's move away from Christianity is accelerating. People often ask me, especially in the Catholic Church, it's kind of, you know, what can we do to kind of bring everyone back, you know? And half serious, I, I always say, well, invest in time machine technology. The data is clear. Christianity in Europe is, is, is dying. Dr. Harvey Quiani, professor of African Christianity and theology at Liverpool Hope University, is from the Christian nation of Malawi. He says moving to what he calls Britain's pagan culture was a shock. Growing up in Africa, growing up in Malawi, um, Christianity is, is, is exploding. The median age of an African Christian is 19. Coming to Europe, these are post-Christian people. They have moved away from Christianity. I teach students who would tell me uh, I'm a third, fourth generation pagan in my family. God is still moving in Europe, but the larger culture has been lost. And although some governments might still be officially Christian, they are now openly persecuting Christians. What is hard for people in America to understand is that people in Great Britain really have no notion of what Christianity is. Attorney Andrea Williams of Christian Concern in London spends much of her time defending clients like Christian doctor David Makareth, who, because of his Christian beliefs, refused to call a transgender man a woman and was fired. In essence, I'm now being compelled to say things which I cannot say. But when I'm told to call a man a woman, or call a woman a man, they're pushing my conscience where it cannot go because I could not serve my Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, and do that. It's the same story for Christians across Europe. In Finland, a Christian member of parliament faces possible prison time for simply tweeting Bible verses that condemn homosexuality. And Bolivant warns it will probably get worse as Europe returns to its pagan roots. At the end of that road, culturally, I think, is, is, is probably 80, 90 percent no religion. And so to convince them to, to pay attention to Christianity again is, is a challenge. Only a radical revival can, can change that. But if we don't, then it's going to get darker yet. There is hope for Europe, and it could be in something missions leaders call the blessed reflex. It was the prayer of early missionaries like William Carey and David Livingston that one day the gospel would return from the mission fields of Africa and Asia to re-evangelize Europe. And there are signs the blessed reflex has already begun. Dale Hurd, CBN News, London.